Big news now from Kenya opposition leader Raila Odinga has withdrawn from the presidential race. Sarah Kimani is on the line to us from Nairobi, Kenya. With an update, Sarah, a very good afternoon to you. What is this we are hearing? Can you confirm that Raila Odinga has indeed pulled out of the election? Yes, indeed. Uh, Raila Odinga has announced that he has withdrawn with immediate effect from the fresh presidential elections that are due to be held on the 26th of this month. He is saying that together with his running mate, Kalozo Sioka, they have taken the decision, he says, in the interest of the country, and he outlined uh, the 11 irreducible minimum demands that they have made to the Electoral Commission, none of which, according to him, have been met, and therefore they say if they go to the elections as it is, uh, the will be no different uh, from this election and the one that was held on August 8, the one that the Supreme Court said was uh, contained a lot of illegalities and irregularities and could not, uh, in effect, be able to determine who won the election. But Sarah, so what then happens to the elections? I mean, Raila Odinga leads the country's main opposition. And any word from the Electoral Commission about this latest development? As Odinga was giving his press conference, uh, the Electoral Commission also gave uh, uh, a press conference indicating that Odinga wanted the Electoral Commission to uh, withdraw uh, the contract that they had with uh, Safan Mofo, uh, the company that was dealing with the IT servers and all the uh, uh, telecommunications issues uh, and technological and issues of the election, the transmission, the electronic transmission of results, and that he also wanted the Dubai firm that has been printing uh, the ballot papers, Al Gurel, for those contracts to be uh, halted immediately. And uh, IBC says it turns at head because those contracts are binding uh, the one with the, uh, the, the ballot printing companies for two years, and it is impossible within such a short time to be able to get another company to do electronic transmission and uh, be able to acquire uh, equipment to identify voters, so they said they had no choice. However, he says uh, the commission, uh, the chairman of the commission says they had worked with the uh, South and Mofo, the IT firm, to ensure that uh, the systems had been configured and made watertight to be able uh, to carry out this uh, forthcoming election. Now, it's, it's, it's quite confusing what happens for me, Alicia, because also in Parliament, the Jubilee Party, the ruling party was presenting amendments to the electoral laws. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the clauses of those amendments says that if one, in case of a runoff or in case of fresh presidential elections, like what Kenya was about to undertake, in case one candidate withdraws, then the remaining candidate is sworn in uh, without the country having going to go to an election. Well, that is what ideally should happen because tomorrow we expect that uh, Jubilee Party, which has a majority in Parliament, will pass that law. However, um, we don't know what happens because Odinga is asking uh, for fresh nominations and that the country uh, begins the process of nominations afresh. And then what is the reaction on the ground to these news, Sarah? It's too soon for us to know, but th we have had this hunch that Odinga may actually not take part in the fresh presidential elections because immediately the ruling was made. It was quite clear that he will not go to elections with the Electoral Commission as it is constituted. Uh, then he talked about uh, the company doing the electro electronic transmission of results. Then he spoke about uh, the team that was in charge of the uh, ballot paper printing. But also uh, in today's statement, they're talking about four electoral commissioners who they they say are in control at the IEBC and they seem to be uh, overruling the chairman. And so they're saying uh, going to elections as it is will be worse. Uh, the, the results will be worse than uh, what happened on August 8th. But then, Sarah, let's, let, let me take you back to this. I know you stated this when we started the interview. I'm very interested in knowing what happened to the negotiations around those 11 demands that, of course, uh, Raila Odinga was tabling to the Electoral Commission and, of course, the opposition. Were they not willing to, to, to listen to any of those 11 demands by the opposition? <laughs> The talks, the talks collapsed because NASA stood its ground. That is the opposition. It said all its 11 demands must be met. And then uh, the Jubilee Party came to the table with the new laws, the Electoral uh, Laws Amendment Act, which is currently being rushed through Parliament. And so when it became clear that both uh, parties were standing their ground, the Western diplomats came in and said, look, uh, we are going to uh, sanction the hardliners. That still did not work. Each... <coughs>
All right, I think we have lost our reporter there, Sarah Kimani. She was in Kenya for us with, of course, uh, the latest update after the opposition has pulled out or it has announced that it has pulled out of the election since its 11 demands. Uh, nobody's willing to meet them.